Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And welcome back, everybody. Uh, a lot of cloud cover out there today. Kind of held our temperatures in check. Started off this morning here in Bismarck at 34 degrees, which is actually now our average high for this time of year. Uh, but with all the extensive cloud cover, our temperatures didn't jump all up all that much. And uh, we ended up with an official high of 39 degrees today in Bismarck, which is 5 degrees above the average. 71 degrees, the record high set back in 1960s. Here's a live look from downtown. And temperatures still kind of just hovering there in the 30s. We're at 34 degrees right now. A little bit of a wind out of the north northwest it makes it feel like 27 degrees out the door. Temperatures are in the 20s for many of us. A few temperatures in the 20s right now. Williston at 29, Stanley 28, uh, 34 as we saw it in Bismarck, 25 right now in Dickinson. And uh, temperatures are falling pretty quickly back towards the southwest. That's where we're seeing at the moment a little bit of clearing. And so those temperatures uh, not uh, seeing the blanket of clouds over them. So yeah, they're dropping off. And we do have a wind out of the northwest as well right now. Uh, from about 5 to 15 miles per hour. So it's cold, but it's late November, so you kind of expect that. There are the wind chills, and it feels right now outside like the teens and 20s. So satellite radar, uh, not a heck of a lot going on. Saw a few light flurries. Those are generally moving off towards the east. There are a few light flurries and uh, light snow showers in southern Saskatchewan. They may actually roll in the northern parts of the state late tonight into early tomorrow morning, not expecting anything significant. However, that can't be said for the rest of the country because you look at all the pinks and blue and purples. Yeah, there's a lot of active weather now starting to develop here. In fact, we have a significant storm now developing in Denver that's going to track from Denver to Minneapolis over the next couple of days. And that could impact some traveling. So let's go ahead and roll precision cast. There's a current situation. You can already see heavy snow in the Denver area. There's one storm system. It is going to uh, form a surface low here. This is a Colorado low. The storm system is forming in Colorado. And so by early tomorrow morning, we're going to watch that area of snow just to our south. So this one looks like it's going to miss us just off towards the southeast. We will have plenty of cloud cover from it and then another very powerful storm will move on the uh, Oregon coaster and that's really going to affect our weather coming up into the Thanksgiving time frame. So here we go. Tomorrow night you have two significant storm systems, one over the Great Lakes and you can see Minneapolis is going to get hammered by that storm system and then more active weather coming on shore out west. That's the one that will begin to affect us as we go in towards Thanksgiving. We get one decent day on Wednesday with a little bit of sunshine before that next system rolls on in. So Thanksgiving, it now looks like the snow will start off late in the day on Thanksgiving. Temperatures will generally be in the mid-20s. It'll be a cloudy start, and then the snow will pick up as we head on in towards the second half of the day. Here's your three-day forecast for Dickinson. Temperatures will be slowly winding down. Snow really begins to pick up there on Thursday. Williston temperatures were going to be slowly winding down with also snow picking up on Thursday. And it will be quite breezy as well. Lows tonight, temperatures getting down into the 20s. Some of us could see the teens out towards northeast parts of the viewing area. Tomorrow's highs, temperatures getting up into the 20s and 30s. Here's your seven day forecast. We are looking at temperatures, well, tumbling a bit, but we'll be dry the next couple of days. That storm system skirts to our south, the first one. The second one begins to move in late Thanksgiving, and then it looks like we could see some heavy snow moving in Friday night into Saturday morning, Lauren, and also some strong winds. We're going to watch this very carefully. Looks like the biggest impacts right now in our area, late Friday night, Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks so much. Keep it here when we return to our